Well, when I was down there, I was sitting in my tree stand, and I heard I had some activity in the front, in the front of me in the swamp, a small buck and a couple does. <clears throat> but then I heard a noise unlike anything I've ever heard in the woods, and I looked up about 75 yards out, and he was at the edge of the uh, woods. So he was about 75 yards out. All I seen was his head come up, and I shot. The whole thing lasted about five seconds. <laughs> and then when I got up there, I waited about 15 minutes and went up there, and I couldn't see anything. And I seen, after I shot, I seen a deer running out into the field. So I thought, well, that might be him, but there, it was all gra grass because it was all CRP land. So the grass was six feet high. And I got out there, I couldn't find anything. So I went back to where he was at when I shot him. And there was a lot of tracks around there, but there was no blood or anything. So I really kind of thought I missed. We had a little bit of snow on the ground. And I walked around into this heavy, uh, gorge that we have there, and I'm looking there, and uh, I looked down at the bottom, and I could see a little bit of where the ground was tore up. So I thought, well, I better get down, because I, I really thought I missed it. And I went down there, and I'm looking, and it was real thick, and I looked up on top of the hill, halfway up the gorge, and I said, it looks like a line going across there, but it was so thick. I couldn't make out what it was, and it was too steep for me to walk up, so I had to make a big loop around it. And I actually walked up on the deer I got within 20, 25 yards of him before I even seen him. And uh, so it was quite a quite a thrill, because I knew he was big when I seen the rack come up, but uh, I didn't really know how big. And then when I seen him laying there, I said, boy, and we have a coyote problem there. So uh, I think my son told me that uh, I said I was going to stay in there late. So they come out, and uh, so when I shot, when I finally found them, it was about maybe 45 minutes an hour after I shot them. But we have coyotes around there, so I said, well, I'm not going to uh, leave this thing laying here, you know, and go back for the. Uh, for the kids, I said, well, they'll probably think I had a heart attack or something if I don't come out, and they'll come looking for me. So then to come to find out, they had felt that I was going to be in there late, so they went for lunch. So I sat there for about two hours <laughs> guarding that deer, and I, I, I did walk back to the camper, and I left a little note for him to come back out. So after about two hours, he come back out with the uh, RV and uh, got the deer out.